In today's funny story joke, prepare yourself for an uproarious tale of comedy and misadventure. This story will have you in fits of laughter as we follow the hilarious encounter of a female leprechaun and a bus driver. Get ready for a joke that's not just funny, but a comedy masterpiece that promises to keep you giggling all the way through. In the quaint town of Letterkenny, nestled among rolling green hills and babbling brooks, lived a feisty female leprechaun named Fiona. Fiona was known throughout the town for her quick wit, fiery temper, and her newborn baby boy, Joe. Little Joe was an unusual baby, even by leprechaun standards, with bright green hair that stood on end like a pot of shamrocks just after a good watering, and a mischievous glint in his emerald eyes. One sunny morning, brighter than a freshly polished pot of gold, Fiona decided to take Joe on a trip across town to visit her sister Moira. Moira, bless her nimble fingers, had promised to knit Joe a special leprechaun baby bonnet, complete with tiny shamrock ear flaps and a golden tassel that would jingle merrily with every kick little Joe gave. Fiona, with Joe nestled snugly in her sling, a repurposed rainbow that shimmered in the sunlight, made her way down the cobbled path towards the bus stop. The rhythmic click-clack of her tiny leather boots echoed against the stone, punctuated by the occasional gurgle from Joe, who seemed particularly interested in the world unfolding before him. A world filled with buzzing bumblebees, plump ladybugs, and the occasional grumpy badger waddling out for his morning constitutional. The bus soon arrived with a screech that could wake the dead, or at least a particularly lazy banshee, and a puff of exhaust that smelled suspiciously like burnt clover. The doors hissed open, revealing a cramped interior and a driver who looked like he'd been marinating in a vat of vinegar for far too long. His permanent scowl could sour a vat of the finest fermented leprechaun ale at 20 paces, and his bushy eyebrows seemed perpetually furrowed in a state of disapproval. Fiona, ever the picture of feisty confidence, marched onto the bus, her head held high. As she fished out her bus fare, a single shimmering gold coin that winked mischievously in the dim light and handed it to the driver, the grumpy fellow glanced at Joe and let out a disdainful snort that could have cleared a room full of cobwebs. Ugh, that's the ugliest baby I've ever seen. He muttered loud enough for everyone to hear. Fiona's eyes widened in shock. Her cheeks flushed with anger, and she could feel steam practically coming out of her ears like a kettle about to whistle. Without a word, she stormed down the aisle, her tiny leprechaun feet stomping like a drum roll. She plopped into an empty seat with such force that the cushion squeaked in protest. She was seething with rage, her mind buzzing with a thousand comebacks. How dare that driver insult her precious Joe? The nerve. If she had magic on her side, she'd have turned him into a toadstool right then and there. But this funny story ain't over just yet, and Fiona's anger was just getting started. Her fury was boiling over like a pot of Irish stew left unattended. Sitting next to her was a kind-looking man with a twinkle in his eye, who noticed her distress. What's wrong? He asked, genuinely concerned. That driver just insulted me. Fiona fumed, her voice shaking with anger. The man raised an eyebrow and gave her a reassuring smile. You shouldn't take that. You tell him off. Go ahead. I'll hold your monkey. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.